Live from the studios of KYMB Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey on Tonight with Gary and Jules. Four hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests and a few surprises along the way. And now, here are your hosts, Gary and Jules. Well, here we are. It's show number five. five. <laughs> We've been doing this now for five weeks. Hello, everyone. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And this is Monterey on tonight. And if you just happen to be watching for the very first time, we are here every Saturday night between eight and midnight, four hours. And we actually play classic music videos and we intersperse some guests along the way. And uh, we talk on the phone if, in fact, uh, there's someone to talk to from time <laughs> to time. <laughs> and we accept emails. And we, and we order pizza. And we order pizza. <laughs> and anyway, this hour, the first hour tonight, is brought to you by me and Ed's Pizza, as it is every week since our very first show. Me and Ed's Pizza, located in Seaside at the corner of Broadway and Fremont. And uh, tonight, I understand uh, we're not going to be talking with Akron. No, nope, he's actually quite occupied over there at me and Ed's. Okay, they've there's got a big the, party. Well, they've, actually, they've got that $10 special. Oh, yes. Still large, three topping, $10. And the uh, phone number for that is 899-0101 if you want to go ahead and order your pizza now. Yes, as we are going to order our pizza we are. now while our first video is playing. And then later on in the program, is Gwen going to be bringing our pizza tonight? You know, I think somebody else is coming tonight. Oh, really? Tonight. Someone yes, new? Everything, hey, everything is changing. Everything, we're throwing a loop here. Well, yeah, really. Right. Yeah, a little bit of change. Well, Gwen has been br delivering our pizzas in the past, but tonight we may have a new delivery person Delivery person for Garrett. you. Garrett. Oh, Garrett. His name's Garrett. Garrett's coming tonight. Yes, and then we have uh, Sarah Nicole, and she is our on-air host here at KYMB, and she will be... Uh, letting us know what's coming on here on our MGM Movie Channel during the week. That's right. And we have Julie Armstrong this hour, and she's from the um, Inter Big Sur International Marathon. And we have a lot of classic music videos coming up tonight from Cool TV. And, uh, you know, uh, just to kind of let you know, we've got Pat Benatar and Phil Collins. Tina and Turner. Arios, Tina, Tina Turner and the Bangles and Stray Cats and Bon Jovi and Run DMC. A whole bunch of great music Fun. videos. From the 80s, our classic music video package. So we're going to be doing that. And shall we kick off right now? I think now? so. We've here done enough is, talk. <laughs> here is a video that is a classic video. Gary always picks. I every get to pick. I get to pick first the first video. video each week. This is by far a classic. This is Robert Palmer. And this is a video that I'm sure if you all were around when MTV hit the air back in the 80s, you're going to remember this one. Here is Robert Palmer and Simply Irresistible, okay. right here on Monterey on tonight. Simply Irresistible Robert Palmer from the 80s. We're not exactly sure. We're actually going to play... What aren't we sure about? Uh, we're, we're not sure about the date. Oh, the date. Absolutely. Yeah, I just okay. said the 80s. It's not... <laughs> That's safe. That's safe. Right. That's you're, you're not sure whether it's 81, <laughs> 82, 83, 84, et cetera. Okay. Anyway, that's Robert Palmer, and we have him on twice tonight. We certainly do. There's another one coming up in the next uh, half hour or so, Addicted to Love. I think he uses the same women with the same lipstick. He does. And did you and know, I don't think you remember this, but um, Shania Twain did a takeoff on that video. She actually was the gal who looked like those gals, and then there were all guys in the background. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, I'll see I'll if I can find out. that, and we'll, we'll run that uh, Shania Twain video. It, it well, was she's great. got a bit of a sense of humor. Yeah, huh? yeah. It was a, really a great takeoff on, uh, on Robert Palmer. Anyway, you're watching Monterey on tonight. Uh, that's our kickoff video for the evening. We're here for the next four hours with uh, lots of fun and music. And we just ordered our pizza. And we did. Uh, me and Ed's. Me and Ed's, Broadway and Fremont. And the greatest pizzas in the Monterey area. Actually, I would beg to say in the world. Really? Yes. Okay. They, are, they have been That's... in business for over 58 years. There's over that many locations, th primarily throughout Central California. And we're so fortunate now to have them here on the Monterey Peninsula. And you know what? A great deal going on. 
ten dollars for a three-topping large pizza. Which How is can un- you beat well, that? it's unheard of. I mean, you see that special with a lot of other pizza places, right. but it really is unheard of in me and Ed's history because they are such a high quality. Once you try it, you you really don't ever want to go to any other pizza. And okay, so so, so if you uh, <laughs> are out there tonight, don't you think so? Yeah, if you're hungry, they deliver throughout the area. Give them a call, 899-0101. It's on the screen. And tell them you're watching Monterey on tonight and uh, you're hungry for a pizza. And I believe their dining room stays open till 11 p.m. 11 o'clock and on they, a Saturday And night. they do deliver. And thank you, me and Ed's, for sponsoring this first hour each Saturday night of Monterey on tonight. We're going to get back to the videos. And the next one coming up is Scandal and Goodbye to this You. This is a fun one. Yeah. 1980s. 1980s as well. You don't have the exact date on that one either. Okay. What happened to the Google tonight? Well, the rest of them have the, okay. the, the years. Anyway, so. let's go. I and think our, they're our, the one-hit wonders. They the don't one really, hit, okay. you know, there's not too much information. And our so. engineer tonight is Alex sitting in for Dave, who's out of town. And Alex, you're doing a great job so far, so let's see if we can keep it up. Anyway, here's Scandal, and this is called Goodbye to You. That is uh, Pat Benatar, and... Uh, that goes back to um, oh, yeah. the very early That 80s. was uh, just as famous. It went just as big as Love is a Battlefield. It did. And this is Julie Armstrong. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Julie Armstrong. And Julie's from the Big Sur. International. Marathon. Marathon. How about that? I am. And eventually we're going to get you to turn around and you can show your okay. You can show your shirt uh, to the audience. Uh, and right promote. now. Why not right now? Yeah, go All ahead. All right. Catherine can get the camera. This is a um, 2007 race shirt. 2007. Okay, there it is. Yeah, stay right there. We'll get a tight close-up of that. It, oh, what a... What a great shirt. That's a beautiful She's shirt. Gonna, he's going to switch cameras. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's Julie's shirt, the big that's surf. That's Julie Armstrong's back. Yes. <laughs> okay, Alex, thank you. <laughs> can I you. turn around now? Yes, you can turn this around This is actually now. a 2007 a, Oh, race. is it? Yeah. What a, what a great, uh, beautiful shot thank that you. is on the back. It's actually a photograph, or a um, uh, watercolor drawing. Oh, we is it? A, a, watercolorist from Santa Cruz who for the past four or five years has done beautiful paintings of the coastal scenes and we put them on our race shirts. What a great idea. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you were out today doing what? Well, the Big Sur Marathon has three major events during the year. The marathon in April, the half marathon in November, and in March we have the mud run. The mud run. (laughs) And that was today? It was today. It was this morning. Oh, and how did that um, go? Close to 2,000 runners oh came out, goodness. ran through mud pits, jumped over obstacles, did push-ups, and ran through four mud pits oh and my got goodness. way dirty. It was very fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, and where did they hold that particular That was event? out at um, CSUMB, uh-huh. the start and the end, and it ran on the former Fort Ord property and in the CSUMB campus. It's I about see. half road and half trails and four really muddy pits. And how long have you been doing this now? How many years have you been Me with Me personally? Uh-huh. Um, I have been with the marathon nearly three years, uh, but it is, ha- we're having our 25th presentation this April. Wow. And so it's, the marathon's been around a while, and when it first started in the mid-80s, I was actually on the board as a oh, volunteer. Oh, you were? Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the biggest, is it not? Well, as, as marathons as, go. Well, not really. I mean, we've got New York Marathon at 50,000, and oh. the Boston Marathon's quite big. There are larger ones, uh, London and Berlin, but ours is one of the, it was named as one of the top three marathons in the country by Runner's World Magazine, so we were really excited about that. Because it's so, along the California not, coastline. Right, and we're not the biggest, but we'd like to say we're the best. You're the best, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, you had a question for uh, Julie. Well, I was um, really impressed, we were talking before the show, about how many people come from out of the area. Right. And I just thought that was so wonderful. Like today, it wasn't just locals in the mud run. Right. There were people that were coming in from other areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, today's race, uh, we had 11 different states represented, and uh, but about 25% of the people were from Monterey County. Okay. Today's race is really more of a drive-in race, but our marathon and our half marathon are destination races, which means they come in, they stay for two or three nights, they enjoy the community, go to the restaurants and um, attractions when they can walk after a marathon. And how many people participate in the Big Sur Marathon? The Big Sur Marathon, we draw 12,000 participants uh, for a variety of different events. We have our marathon, which is about 4,500. We have a 21-mile walk or run 
a 10.6 mile, nine miler, and a 5K, and a kids race. So wow. all those collectively is about 12,000. And and they're all sold out except the 5K. The 5K, which is um, Sunday morning, the same time as the marathon, and then our kids race is a 3K, which is about a little under two miles, um, and that'll be on Saturday morning in Pacific Grove. Okay. And the dates again? Uh, April 25th is the date of the marathon. So the 25th, 25th anniversary on the 25th. Oh, that's wow. great. Well, this will <laughs> be we like that. a great celebration for you this year. We have a clip that, you, that, that a video okay. clip you right. sent over and it, it's it's a few minutes long we'll just play about the first minute okay and this was designed to give the sponsors of the event some ad additional information but I, I really liked it because I think it'll give our viewers a good peek okay. as to yeah, the to first 30 goes. seconds or so have a good overview okay. Of the area. okay Alex can you roll that for us for 25 wow. years they have come for one of the most grueling yet beautiful marathons in the world They are the most driven of marathoners, facing one of the most difficult challenges in the sport. They are educated, successful, and motivated. A highly sought after demographic, deeply committed to the Big Sur International Marathon and the events presented by this organization. It's gorgeous, it was spectacular. Sometimes I just got caught up looking at the ocean or looking at the views and forgot about the race for a second. It was kind of a nice distraction. The Big Sur International Marathon is the best of the best. As Runner's World's Bart Yasso says, if we were told we could only run one marathon in our lifetime, Big Sur would have to be it. Well, this is what I call a destination race, coming to Monterey and Big Sur. Wow, that's a, that's a great video. And uh, you said that someone produced that uh, locally? Or? Right, right. There's a company in Salinas, OMG. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, we've heard of them. Yeah. And you know, the, um, the, the part of the marathon that goes down Highway 1, and when we were at Carmel Meadows, mm -hmm. I could watch yeah, out we could see them the window mm -hmm. and watch them coming down, and they clo they completely closed Carmel Meadows out. You know, we couldn't get in right. and out. It's the only day of the year where Highway 1 is closed, and they actually run from Big Sur to Carmel. Oh, so it they're goes, coming up. Right. They're and coming whereabouts up. is the Grand Piano? Grand Piano is at the north end of Bixby Bridge, okay. and that's an iconic, yeah. you know, thing it, for our event. That's great. Is it the same player every year? Well, it started out with Jonathan Lee, who was a well-known pianist in the area, and he unfortunately passed away um, a few years back. But Michael Martinez, who you saw in the piece, was kind of his protege. He's a young man. He's probably maybe 19 now, mm -hmm. but uh, people just love that. And they stop, even though they're running, they stop, and they get their <laughs> picture taken with them. That's so, great. Yeah. Well, we have another video we're going to play right now. Okay. Will you stick around for a few minutes yeah. more? Sure. Great. Let's go back to uh, our list here. And uh, Phil we Collins. are going to do a Phil Collins video. You remember I love him. Phil Collins. Great. And this one is uh, Against All Odds oh, from against 1984. All odds. This is from the movie. Yeah, this is from the soundtrack. I think Jeff Bridges and it was, was in this movie. It, it was nominated for Academy Award for Best Original Song. So let's do Against All Odds, and we'll be right back with, with uh, Julie Armstrong. Ju Julie, Julie. Hey, Phil Collins and uh, Against All Odds. Uh, and I'll tell you what, viewers, we need your help tonight. Will you go to your uh, computer and uh, send us an email to KYMB and let us know who the actress was that was in that movie? Because uh, I just asked Julie and Julie, and I don't know, and they didn't know, so maybe you guys can help us out. Well, last week we we were wondering about Ben Gazzara. Yes. And a viewer was kind enough to yes. send that's us what I said. The if you guys are, you know, they've got they've got the the laptop or the uh, desktop there. Uh, send us an email. Let us know. Was and she in that? Was she in the video? She was in the video. Oh, okay. yeah, well, they did clips from the movie. So if you go to kymbtv.com, we have a feedback form right on our home page. And if you would like to uh, send us an email, send and then us we'll an enter you in the contest. Yeah, we'll put you in. We're oh, incidentally, I wanted to talk about the contest. We've got the I've got the rules available. All they have to do is uh, write to me through the feedback form, and I can email them. The you rules. know what, though, really, uh, it's very simple. Uh, no, no purchase is necessary to enter our contest. All you have to do is email us your name, and then we put your name in the little 
glass container here, and at the end of the night, we draw out whoever happens to be the winner of the... Is it tonight? Is it uh, Well, it's Alberto's? a surprise. Oh, it's no, a surprise. No, it's a surprise. We have a okay. surprise guest coming on with surprise? a surprise giveaway. A yes. surprise guest with a surprise giveaway yes. tonight. Okay, well, I, I'll that. go for that, okay. and I don't even know. So. <laughs> I didn't anyway, you. you wanted to say... Uh, uh, a few more things. Right, uh, right. Just just uh, to uh, conclude about the marathon, it everything sold out except the 5K and the kids run. Right, correct? that's right. And to enter or get more information about that, they can go to your website, right. correct? BSIM.org. And that stands for the Big, Big Sur, Sur International, International Marathon. marathon. Uh, okay. Dot, dot I org, figured that com. out. Okay. Yeah. Dot org. Dot org. Not dot com. Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, get, while we were at break, we were talking with Julie about what an interesting background you've had here in on the peninsula before you were with the uh, Big Sur International Marathon. And uh, I thought that would be nice to share with our viewers. Sure. So right before you uh, were with the marathon, you were with the... the Monterey County Convention Visitors Bureau. Okay. And I did tours and promotion, marketing and communications for them. Okay. Prior to that, I well, I did a little bit of substitute teaching for a few you years. Did? Yeah, in Goodness. elementary school in Pacific oh. Grove. Um, but I was the director of the Monterey County Film Commission for okay. nine years. Started the Film Commission Great in 1988. Great organization. You started the... You yeah. were there right from the right. inception? Uh-huh. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, we should probably have you back on to talk about some of those stories. The early days. <laughs> the early days. That's right. Absolutely. That would be fun. That we have to fun. have Joe Fletcher on, too. He's the new uh, director mm -hmm. at the Film Commission, and we were expecting him the night before the Oscars. He got and he sick. was Yeah, he was oh, ill. So bad. anyway, Joe, if you're out there, uh, we'd like to have you back on. And we'll he said he's coming back on. We'll talk yeah. about uh, the Oscar winners this last year, especially Sandra Bullock. Mm -hmm. Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. Yes. She's, Not Sandra. She says she's too down to earth right. okay. to be called Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, while you were at the uh, Bureau, you'd mentioned that it was combined with the Chamber, correct? Well, when I first moved here in the mid-80s, in okay. 1985, I was the marketing and I was the communications director of the Monterey Peninsula Chamber of Commerce and Visitors and Convention Bureau. Okay. And the two organizations split in the 90s. Okay. But at the time I was there, we did a little bit of both. We worked with the small businesses and larger businesses in the hospitality industry. So I kind of came full circle. Sure. Yeah. And now you're having fun. I'm having a great time. <laughs> That's okay. great. Well, good, thank you good, for good. all of your support. We're new to the community, but it's nice to meet people like you who've been right behind the community. And you're helping out with the tourism, keeping the tourism up, especially with mm -hmm. the marathon because that helps the uh, tax base And we have here. to tell her a little bit more about the Coastal Television Network. Oh, yes. I'm going to put that video on. And what we're doing uh, to bring tourists to the Monterey Peninsula with our other business. So we can put uh, your video okay. on yeah. uh, the Coastal like TV that. Network yeah, and great. Six Markets. Spread the word. <laughs> okay. Spread the word. Well, thank you very much <laughs> for being so here much tonight, for Julie. Me. And we have um, pizza here. Yes. Okay. We're going to... The pizza just arrived from me and Ed's. Came at the right time. Yes, <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, and in fact, we'll get some to Julie, and then uh, what's left will show. We'll, we'll show on the air. Okay, How's that? that sounds great. <laughs> okay, actually, okay. So, what's next here? Uh, well, REO Speedwagon's up. You got it. And uh, it's a uh, tack it on the run. This is from the '80s, and we'll probably have one more after that. And then we'll be back with you right here on Monterey on tonight. Uh, enjoy the music. Sounds great. Thanks That's uh, REO Speedwagon from the 80s and uh, Tack It on the Run. Take it. Take it on the run. <laughs> Why did it say tack? Oh, it's because I was typing fast. <laughs> <laughs> we had 10 minutes before the show started, honey. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. <laughs> did you know REO Speedwagon is um, taken from an automobile? No. Yeah, a flatbed truck and fire engine. And, and the people who, it stands for Ransom Ellie Olds. It was the name of a, of a company. Yeah. And they also founded Oldsmobile. REO Speedwagon. Amazing. Well, sorry about that, uh, folks. Earlier, I just read it as tack it on the run. <laughs> That's my fault. You probably wondered, <laughs> well, what, I, what's, what's he saying? I can read my tack, writing. Tack it on the run. We take thank, it on the run. We want to thank Julie Armstrong from the Big Sur Marathon. Big Sur and our, International. Our pizza's here. And our big, you want to pull and, that And up? I have to say, we did invite Julie yes. to take a piece for uh, her daughter. Yes. So there it if is. her daughter's watching, it's on its Hold way it home. This is What is this tonight? This is half Valley Veggie and half combination. Wow. Cuz Sarah and Nicole 
likes the veggies. So the veggie. I and Sarah Nicole to... is here in the studio yeah. tonight with her special guest. Yes. Who we're going to meet <laughs> That's a later. surprise, too. We have lots yeah. of surprises here uh, tonight. How folks. about that? So well, the, anyway, the, uh, the phone number to order good. your pizza is 899-0101. The this... $10 special is for a three-topping large. But if this looks irresistible, ask them if they have a coupon. Yeah. Say the really. KYMB people said to ask you for a coupon. For a coupon so you can get more toppings. More toppings. $10, how can you beat that? Me and Ed's Pizza, Broadway and Fremont. They have right a here wonderful dining Seaside. room. They have a jukebox. They have flat screen TVs. They have beer in these like super frosty mugs. And they have a fireplace. And they have a fireplace, yeah. And they're our sponsor and during they have a salad the first bar hour. Too. They have a salad, a salad bar. bar too. Hey, how can you, if you guys haven't been there, Go over to Broadway and Fremont and Seaside right now, order up a pizza, and uh, then when you get home, send us an email and tell us how you liked it. It's great. It's great for dates. It's great for families. It's great after the movies. It's, it's after the movie. I mean, it's for you. it doesn't matter what, what you're doing, great where you're going. Dinner, yeah. Great for a snack. They even have the individual pizzas, too. Yes, they if do. If you want just a small pizza. It's the personal-sized pizza. They call it personal-sized pizzas. So. I mean, how can you go wrong? Anyway, okay, it's Monterey on tonight. We're here every Saturday night between 8 o'clock and midnight. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And uh, we are your host and hostess. And we're here with all the music classic videos from the 80s. And we're going to play one more right now. And this yes. is the same gentleman that we kicked off tonight's program with. This is Robert Palmer. This was another huge video hit same uh, 1986 gals. 1986 same gals in the background that were in the uh, first video that you saw that we kicked off the program tonight and this one is called addicted to love there she is that's Tina and that video was made when Tina was 45 about 25 years ago and it stayed at number one for three did. weeks they, and Capitol Records didn't think it would be a hit they didn't and it was one of her biggest What's love got to do with we it? We have uh, Sarah and her guest with us yes, tonight. Yes, we do, Hi. Sarah. Hi, Sarah Nicole. And uh, who do we have as our This is uh, Harley. New... This is my new puppy. She's a little boxer. Oh. And she's only two months old. And I've been taking her all around town. So maybe we can get a close-up of her on that second camera. Yeah, well, that's it, as close <laughs> as we can get. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's close enough. But if you want to switch it to second. Yeah, well, it's on two now. <laughs> this oh, there is Harley, okay. and she's such a good girl. Ah! No, she'll bite you. She's in her terrible twos biting stage right now. So, uh -huh. But I'm completely in love, and I can't leave her at home because no. she's my baby. I'm like a mommy, and hey, yeah. don't bite. Well, she's you certainly biting. live in the most dog-friendliest. Yep. There's a lot of restaurants in Carmel and Monterey that are very dog-friendly. Yeah, well, we'll have to take Coco and Minnie, and you take Harley, and we'll yeah. go to... Uh, Doris Stays Hotel, yeah. and we'll go have uh, <laughs> a cappuccino <laughs> and tea, right, to the Cypress Inn in yeah. Carmel. We'll, we'll be there next week, folks, with all of the dogs. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're here to talk about Movie some of reviews. the great movies that are coming up right here on Comcast Channel 19 from the MGM Movie Library. What is happening this week, Sarah? Well, you know, I'm really enjoying the movies that we're playing on our station. Um, I'm really enjoying branching out. Um, other than new movies that come out in the theaters. Uh, being my age and my 20s, so many of these movies I haven't heard of before, but they're so good and I'm discovering and them. You, and you recognize the actors, though, right? Yeah, ex absolutely. Um, first of all, on Monday at 10.30 p.m., we have a movie uh, called The Children's Hour from 1962 with Audrey Hepburn and Shirley MacLaine. Now, wow. Gary, are you an Audrey Hepburn fan? I am. Breakfast at Tiffany's was my favorite Audrey Hepburn such movie. Such a cute movie. And you know, yeah. I only saw that about a year or two really? years ago. And it's such a good movie. Yeah, great movie. Such a classic. And were you an Audrey Hepburn during her day? I was actually, yes. Uh, Audrey uh, Hepburn fan uh, during uh, her day. I, I was a Audrey Hepburn fan during her heyday. And... Uh, She's uh, from my era. Yep, and, that's why I uh, asked. <laughs> very, very sad that she passed on. I uh, believe cancer took her. Uh, and uh, she was one of the great actresses. She really was. And, and some of her movies, obviously, now will live on forever. And they do. And they do live on, and we're playing them right here on our station. So we are. that's Monday at 1030. Make sure you check out The Children's Hour. It's a great drama, actually. There's a lot of... Uh, Crazy things happen in that really? movie. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. From 1962 even, it has a lot of uh, crazy things going on. Anyways, from on Tuesday, um, I picked a Jeff Bridges movie from 1981 called Cutter's Way. It's an action movie, and I picked Jeff Bridges because didn't he just win an he Oscar? He just won 
for... Was it Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor? Best, best actor. actor. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, from 1981. And then, and that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. So when you come in after work, check out that old Jeff Bridges movie called Cutter's Way on our station. And then on Friday, I'm highlighting a comedy called Delirious with John Candy from 1991. John Candy was was great. And I don't know if you noticed what I'm doing, but I picked a drama, an action movie, and a comedy. So that's kind of my theme this week is different genres. And then on Saturday, we kind of have a... Now, I haven't really highlighted these movies yet, but we've been playing them a lot on our station. Uh, Bikini Beach, Muscle Beach Party, Beach Party, Ski Party, Pajama Party. Yes, they're doing the the, 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 uh, Annette Funicello. Yes, uh, back-to-back Frankie Avalon, Avalon, Annette Funicello, and I like that they're playing them back-to-back. They're all from around 1963, 1964, 1965. So that's a Saturday, kind of a back-to-back thing. From you know, there's so many folks, morning. Sarah, that turn on the TV when they get home and they put on the news channels, they put on CNN or Fox News. Boring, boring, boring. Depressing, I am getting so depressing. tired of hearing about news news and the health news and yep. this and, and the administration. The and you know what? Let's be entertained. Let's yeah. watch these great old movies yeah. and forget about all that you stuff. You know, there's a new study coming out that... Um, you know, there was this whole new phase with, like, personal development and uh, nonfiction books that people really started getting into. They're actually saying that reading fiction books, some of the most successful people that I listen to, um, some of their motivational talks are saying, hey, don't bite, are saying that fiction books actually stimulate, stimulate your mind more and help you that. get through life more. I can believe it. So, and that includes fiction movies. Fiction, Why not? Absolutely. Entertainment. Yeah, really. Well, oh. great. Well, we're uh, Monterey's movie channel. We are right here, Comcast Channel 19, KYMB, and uh, the only time we deviate from uh, our normal movie schedule is on Saturday nights for our four-hour show, and then immediately after our show, a little taste of the Coastal Television Network between midnight and uh, 6 a.m., so other than that, it's movies, movies, and movies right so here, good. and they're great movies. Oh, Thank I just you, wanted Sarah. to say hi to my friend Gene, who's watching. He said that he was going to watch tonight, and I've been telling everybody in our area, great. Hey, it's okay to watch, so hi to my friend Gene, and also Julie Armstrong. I want to see this. You yeah. want to hold her? Oh, yeah. She's getting oh. a little whiny. She's a little camera shy. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? I was just Don't in touch bite. with the, the SPCA, <laughs> uh-huh. and they're going to bring on an occasional adopter. I think that's a great oh, idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. We so. need to have more pets on Don't our show. Dawn over there Don't said she'd bring. Oh. Julie okay, Armstrong Harley. with the mud run this morning. Yes. She was talking about the Big Sur Marathon. Yes. I was there this morning. Oh, great. And it was so, my dearest friend Barbara was running, and oh, she great. did so good. And I'm going to do it next year. Well, I'm going to do the mud run next year. Well, we'll be there with a camera. Woohoo! <laughs> but I'm actually going to run oh. <laughs> and get all muddy. <laughs> so watch out for that. All right, well, that, that, that'll be even fun to show maybe, on the air. Maybe Harley will come with you. Yeah, well, by that time, Harley's going to be a big boy or girl. B- a big girl. Pink collar. That's Everyone thinks pink she's collar. a boy. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a tough name like Harley, you know. Yeah, I like didn't want to give her a prissy name. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Sarah. For thanks, Sarah, for being here. We'll see you next week. And uh, right now we're going to get back to more music videos. And this is The Bangles. Actually, I show Tainted Love. Oh, Tainted Love first? Soft Cell. Okay, and then The Bangles. So, yes, uh, and then The Bangles. Let's go with Tainted Love first and then The Bangles, Manic Monday. And when we come back from the Manic Monday, I have yes. something interesting about that song. Okay, well, let's yes. go, Alex. Let's play Piece more music. And there they are, The Bangles and uh, Manic Monday. 1986. 1986. You know who wrote that song? No, who wrote that song? Prince. Prince wrote that song? Yes. You're serious? Yes, he wrote it for a duet for one of his albums, and then he was trying to court... That gal, her name is, what's her name? I Susanna no Hoffs. Yeah. So what he did is he offered uh, her the song because he was yeah. trying to court her. Yeah. Oh. Well, that, that just goes to show And you know what? Yep. The, the chorus, the melody song, if you listen to Prince's 1999 mm-hmm. song and you listen to this song, you'll see a similarity. Isn't that amazing? Hey, we have somebody on the line with us right now. Doug, can you hear us? I can. I can hear you. Hey, uh, that's uh, Doug Lumsden from Monterey Movie Tours. And uh, Doug uh, actually sent us an email, and he knows who the actress was in Against All Odds because he knows all about all the movies. <laughs> Doug, who was that? Well, that actress was Rachel Ward. Rachel Ward. Rachel Ward, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, and any idea when that movie was made? You know, uh, 
84. Yeah. Yeah. That that sounds about right because I think that's when the video came out with Phil Collins. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on a Are you on a cell phone? I am. Yeah, because the digital is digitized. <laughs> <laughs> but we can still hear you. But that's the way it is with digital television and digital. Uh, audio off the cell phones. Doug, we got to get you back on the show. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Doug. Thanks for the information. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Rachel Ward. I couldn't remember that. I wouldn't have known. Doug yeah. is. Um, Doug is. Doug is our resident movie expert. Because he does the Monterey movie tours every single day, I guess. He, and if you're a resident of Monterey and have not taken that tour, absolutely yeah. take it. It yeah, picks it up over at the uh, Portola, Portola, right? Portola. Uh, Portola. Uh, and it, it's, it's about it, three it, hours long. And, it's virtually daily. And if you call in for a reservation, I don't have the number handy, but we'll find it. Well, it's, it's MontereyMovieTours.com. You can, yeah, you can go to the website. And, um, there was over 200 movies filmed on the Monterey Peninsula, and Doug has a really, really comfortable movie tour bus. Yes, he does. And they have screens at, on the seats, and they pl they will drive by the exact location of where a movie was filmed, and they'll show a clip of that movie. And not only is Doug a sponsor here at KYMB, uh, Doug also does Monterey Movie Moments right here on our channel and on the Coastal Television Network. He, he goes out and does a little, about three or four minutes of where the movies were made. Uh, the Marilyn Monroe movie over on Cannery Row. Uh, the he's Star actually, Trek he's movie. He's actually doing a lot more on-air work because I didn't. I don't think I mentioned to you, but I've got Doug scheduled. He interviewed John Lotz at Monterey Bay Aviation. Oh, that's right. And I've got that scheduled tonight on Coastal oh, TV great. Network okay. when we make the switch. So. Well, thank you, Doug, and thanks for the information about Rachel Ward. Okay, we're going to get back to the music now. Let's see. We are going to <gasps> this play. This is fun. Uh, is this cats. Stray Cats? Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Brian I... Setzer. And the okay. Brian Setzer Orchestra is now where the lead singer is involved in. But okay. Yeah, this is So we're going to do Stray Cats, and then are we going to do Bon Jovi? Living on a Prayer. Living yeah, we could do those, two. do those two. And, and then, then we've we'll got Heather Story of and Massage Heather is going to be in MV. We're going to clear off the microphones. We're going to have someone come in and give us a message. No, oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? No? no. <laughs> oh, okay. I just uh, scared Heather over there. <laughs> anyway, this hour, uh, the last hour, was brought to you tonight by uh, Me and Ed's Pizza. You still have time till 11 o'clock tonight to get your pizza ordered. Thank you, Akram, over at Me and Ed's. And, and then uh, our 9 o'clock hour is sponsored by Ola. Ola in the barnyard. In the barnyard. Yes. So we'll uh, be talking about Ola here in the next hour or so. Yep. Great Mexican food. Okay, let's get back to the music and uh, let's go now with the Stray Cats right here on Monterey on Tonight. Okay, Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi. And uh, is that one of your favorites? That's her favorite. That's, that's one of my that's, favorites. That's your favorite. Heather's story is with us <laughs> tonight. And Heather, uh, you like that song, yes, huh? Yes, I do. And before that, it was Stray Cats. Um, and um, Heather owns Massage Envy. Uh, well, I was just going to say that. Massage yeah. Envy. It's over on... It's uh, off Munros Avenue. Munros. Yep, in the Trader Joe Shopping Center. And everybody knows where the Trader Joe Shopping Center is in downtown Monterey. That's where the old Safeway used to be. Correct. For many years, and they tore it down, and there were a lot of unhappy people <laughs> when they tore down <laughs> Safeway. But now it's you've got a. Much more beautiful. I was going to say a really a great little center there with Trader Joe's and Pete's, who's. Pete's Coffee. Pete's Coffee. RG Burger. RG Burger. RG Burger. And Eric Stelly. And Eric Stelly. Uh huh. And there's wow. a little boutique called Kaya Boutique. And you're now whereabouts are you in the center? Are you easy to find? Yeah, yeah. she's right on. You're right on the street. I'm sorry. right on the street. You actually have to pass me to get into the Trader Joe's parking lot. <laughs> uh huh. And tell me what you do there. Um, well, we do nothing but therapeutic massage. Um, massage Envy is unique in that we are trying to re-educate people about massage therapy. Um, it should be for your health and wellness and not an elite luxury. Uh -huh. You should be able to incorporate it into your lifestyle, and that's what we're trying to do. Well, good so, for you. Now, how long has the shop been open? 
Um, we've been open since September of 2008. I met Goodness. her. I met Heather right before. I don't mm -hmm. even think I told you this. Right before her doors were opening. So you were putting on the final touches. Yes. Of, of the shop, and uh -huh. we were working on the TV station. Right. Well, we were working probably on the TV station as long as you were working on getting your shop open. Yes, yes, and actually I met with Juliana in Pete's Coffee before yes. yeah. <laughs> before the clinic was actually open to A talk about possible advertising. Similar stories station. here. Yes. Well, we uh, we just hit the air, as you know, back in uh, February, the 4th of February. On Comcast. On Comcast 19 with uh, the MGM Movie Network. And of course, we started doing our show on the 27th of February, uh, the Monterey on Tonight Show. And it's really great to have you here. Heather. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, have you got anything that you want to say uh, to, well, to Heather? Well, I, I, Heather's business is so amazing. What, the, what, the way you can operate. You were telling us uh, during the break about how many um, massage therapists, is that what you call? Yes. Your, okay, uh -huh. massage therapists you actually have. Right. On staff, it was it twenty. We have twenty therapists, and I Goodness. have um, sale, uh, sales staff or a front desk staff that takes all of the incoming phone calls and books, all of the appointments. Okay. Um, so total, I have thirty employees. Goodness wow. gracious! Yes. yes, it's a wow. big outfit, and from yeah. the street, it does not look like it's that big. And um, I, but and it is. <laughs> so, so how many uh, massages can you give at the same time? Um, well, we have a couples room. So if we have the couples room booked, then we can do nine massages all at the same Goodness. time. Goodness. Well, that's yeah. great. Yeah. And what time uh, can you get your first appointment? We are open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Monday through Friday. Uh, from 8 to 7 on Saturdays and 10 to 7 on Sundays. Wow, now, seven days a week. So yeah. if somebody oh, is in the area and wants to just stop in and, and walk in, can can they do that If there's yes. and see if there's an opening? Yes, I highly suggest if you want to walk in that you try to do it Monday through Thursday. Okay. Because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we get booked up in advance. Those okay. are our busiest times. It's hard to get a walk-in appointment on the weekends. Okay, and well, then great. there's a, uh, a first introductory... Massage, massage yes. right? Yes, we offer an introductory rate so that people can come in and try out our services. Um, we offer a rate of $49 an hour. Oh, that's great. Um, you is. could do an hour and a half massage for $74 or a two hour session for 98 Do people do that? Yes. Oh, quite my frequently. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. Quite wow, frequently. Wow. We actually suggest that if people have problems um, physically that they need to get worked on, that they do an hour and a half session minimum. Um, because and then have a driver to drive home yeah, because you're so relaxed, right? Yeah. What happens is, is in an hour session, the therapist is trying to get a full body work in, mm -hmm. um, and they have a hard time focusing on problem areas and still getting a nice full body wow. massage. So if you do an hour and a half session, it gives them ample time to work out the problem areas and then still get the relaxing full wow. body in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't that sound great? Mm -hmm. It does. And you also do house calls now? Is there uh, an or opportunity? Or? Not, not house calls, but we do do events. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. We did do an event a couple of weeks ago um, out at Spanish Bay for the National Restaurant Association. Um, I have therapists that can do chair massage. Chair massage. I do you bring so your chairs? We do. Okay. We bring out our own chairs and our therapists, and you're welcome to hire us out to do corporate events. Oh, neat. Um, you can also, you know, do in-house events as well, bridal parties, etc. cetera. Um, we have a really great date night special. Really? Yeah, the couple's room, you know, is fantastic for those guys that are trying to get some extra brownie points. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. think it's great. Yeah, take your wife out and do dinner on the town, right? Come in and get a massage. You'll be in good That's shape. That's great. <laughs> what a great well, idea. We'd like, we, will you stick around for a few minutes? Sure. We're going to play one song and come back, and then I'd like to hear more about where you came from and, okay. you know, just some of your background. You got it. So that would be great. Okay, so uh, the next video that you want to do is uh, Walk This Way by... Uh, Run DMC. This is a classic. Did you music know the original video. song was by Aerosmith? No, I didn't yeah, know that. In the 1970s. Uh huh. Well, this is uh, this is Catherine a great... Nagel is shaking her head. Yes. Yeah. She's going like this. <laughs> our, our producer of our show, <laughs> Catherine. Is this one of your favorites, Catherine? Okay, then let's go with "Walk This Way." Run DMC. And oh, how about that one for a classic music video? I huh? love the 80s. Love the 80s classic. You know, we're getting a lot of folks out there in TV land who haven't seen these videos since MTV days. Yes. And, the, and that's 25 years ago when 
MTV it doesn't for seem 50 like years. That Actually, long. I think it's probably longer than that. But you know, well, as an example, Tina was 45 when she made that video. She's 70 now, so you figure it out. Okay. But great music. If you guys really like the music we're playing here on Monterey on tonight, let us hear from you. Send us an email, uh, kymbtv.com. And um, tonight, we're going to put your name in here because Heather is going to do something very special for you. Heather, tell everyone what we're going we're gonna to give away tonight. Well, we're giving away a $100 gift card this evening for Massage Envy. And you guys were asking me, well, what exactly can somebody get with that $100? Well, there's several options, you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. You can get a hot stone massage for an hour and a half with that gift card. Great. Uh, you could do a straight hour and a half massage session and have enough money left over to buy retail products or give a gratuity to your therapist. Um, or you could do the fabulous date night idea and split the card up and do two massages in the couple's room with that Neat. $100 gift card. Well, if you guys are interested in that giveaway tonight, go to our website and enter to win. No purchase and it, and it, is necessary. And if you are like a boyfriend or a husband uh, of your wife or girlfriend and she's not in the room watching and you're watching this, yes. you surprise her. Yeah, surprises are nice. Surprises. Yes. Why don't you give your website out? Yes, um, they can find us at www.massageenvy.com. That's M-V like... Massage Envy, E-N-V-Y. Okay. Yeah, like you're jealous. Yes, yes. Envy, yes. massageenvy.com. .com. Okay. And what you'll need to do is enter in the zip code, and it will pull up our Monterey website. Oh, super. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. And yes. a phone number? You want to give a number out? Sure. Our phone number is 373-ENVY or 3689. That's easy to remember. Yes. Good for you. <laughs> yes. Or, or just stop in. Yeah. Or stop by You're the shop. You're welcome to see us anytime. <laughs> they can go over and see you and have a Pete's Coffee or an RG Burger. And go, to, go Trader to Trader Joe's. Joe's. And yeah. hey, it's all right there on um, Moon Ross. Yeah, Moon Ross. In downtown Monterey. And we want to thank you. Yes. For, for coming to the show tonight and then also for your gracious gift for our viewers yes. to enter. We have uh, viewers we have from viewers tonight. left over from last, last week, week and the and week tonight. before. And tonight. That's some, it some from having Well, yeah, it's <laughs> great, <laughs> great to have you here. And um, we uh, are going to play more music for our Monterey on tonight audience. Heather, thank you for being here again thank once you. again. And we'll come see you. Yes, I know massage is really important, not just as a luxury, but it also for just maintaining your health. So. Okay. And uh, Ola is our sponsor tonight for the 9 o'clock hour, located over in the Barnyard Shopping Center. In Carmel. Off Highway 1. And if you don't live in Carmel, if you live somewhere else, it's worth the drive. Absolutely. It's uh, one of the best in the area. It's upstairs at the Barnyard. And Bernadette is uh, the hostess there, so stop by. Tell her that you heard about Ola on Monterey on tonight. They're kind enough to uh, sponsor the 9 o'clock hour. They have hour. some great specials. They have those specials during the week. Uh, tell them about Well, they uh, have Hot Hot Tuesday Nights, and that is half off the entire food menu. And then they also have Monday and Friday lunches from 11 to 4, half off the entire food how can menu. You, how can you beat yeah. that? Stop by. Hola in the barnyard. and So it's Tuesday nights or Monday and Friday lunches. And tell Bernadette you heard about it right here on Monterey on tonight so that she'll continue to sponsor the program so we can bring you these classic music videos courtesy of Cool TV. We gave a, a gift certificate away two weeks ago. We did. We had and, a winner, uh, and then last week we had a winner Alberto's. for Alberto's. And, and then tonight then it's the $100 massage. Massage MV gift certificate. Massage so, MV. So if you've uh, emailed us through our feedback form, you're automatically entered into the drawing. And didn't you tell me that we just had an email from someone that used to listen to me on the radio? <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. We have a viewer, Charlotte, uh, uh -huh. and she asked if this is the same Gary that was a DJ My goodness. on KMBY from the 1960s. And the and answer yeah. to that question is... Yes. Yes. Many years ago. I was just a small, I was about five or six then, but I was on, <laughs> was on the radio. It's come full circle. So you went back to Fresno, and then now we... I was on the again. radio when I was uh, at Fort Ord and uh, doing my... Uh, what was your shift? My weekend. I used to do nine to midnight. 
back in the top 40 days at KMBY. So you would be in the... 1240 AM on Cannery Row is now KNRY, Jim Vossen. So you had the four-door schedule. I was in the Army in the daytime and the disc jockey at night. When did you sleep? Just a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun uh, doing the 9 And midnight you know what's shift. interesting is that... When Gary found out that the call letters for KMBY became available, back to the FCC when they left the radio station. They left the local radio station here a couple of years ago, and we picked them up. Picked and them up, and we're going to put them on another TV another station. Another channel here uh, that's coming Isn't that on amazing? the air soon. And you were there all those years yeah, back. Yeah, it just goes to show you. You hang around the Monterey Peninsula all those years. And, and there's fun other people happen. who obviously have because uh, they recognize Anyway, you. thank you, Charlotte, for uh, sending the uh, email tonight. Yeah, it's me from uh, many years ago. Yeah. Uh, same guy. The hair is a little different color. Well, back then nobody knew what your hair because you were on the radio. I was on the now radio. Now you know what Gary looks like. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, we're having fun. This is Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And we're here every Saturday night from 8 to midnight playing classic music videos. We have a few guests stop by. Uh, this hour, again, is sponsored by Ola. The first hour, me and Ed's. and uh, We've had uh, Julie Armstrong yes. with the uh, International... A Big Sur Marathon, and then we had Heather Story, Massage Envy, and we may be having a special guest, but... Uh, surprise guest tonight? The surprise guest. I actually got a call from a fellow named Luke Yankee, and yeah. he's performing in Carmel. His mother... Tonight? Tonight he's performing. His performance really? started at 8 p.m. Uh -huh. His mother was an actress, and he grew up around the movie stars, Marilyn Monroe... Goodness. Um, Joan Crawford. I mean, it's just... He's got these stories, and he actually has a performance. He's named Diva Dish, so I guess it's a it's a performance about what it was like. Well, so, I hope he makes it well, by Well, you night. know what? He left me a message, and yeah. he's like, I hope I didn't miss it. So I left him a message and said, no, we're still on the yeah, air until midnight. midnight. So hopefully so hope he, he'll he come by after We're going to have Gary Hamada stop by, Yeah, too. Gary's going to be here in probably in five minutes. Gary is our uh, weekly guest uh, talking about for locals only on TV. Yep, and he may even have someone with him. Oh, great. So we'll, well see Gary when he... Hey, stay tuned. Lots of fun things happening. I want to go back and tell you that you saw a little bit earlier Huey Lewis and the Heart of Rock and Roll, uh, Dream Academy, Life heart in and Northern soul. Town. Not Heart of Rock and Roll. What did I say? Soul. Oh, Heart and Soul. Heart and Soul. Heart, and ro heart of Rock and Roll was last week. Yes. The Heart of Rock and Roll. This was Heart and Soul. And uh, Life in the Northern Town by Dream Academy and Hall and & Oates in Private Eyes. And that's... That's a fun. We saw Hall and Oates in Monterey, not at the theater about at the Golden four years, State three, years ago? three or four years ago. Were, they were here. That in was town. fun. They were great. That yeah. Was hope hope there's more uh, entertainment coming to the Golden State. I hope so yeah, too. We'll that, check that, that out. Live entertainment. You cannot beat live entertainment. The only thing is, if it's on Saturday night, we can't go because we're here. <laughs> but we'll send uh, we'll send uh, someone out with a camera and, and maybe do some interviews. Uh, and bring them back to the show. Sounds great. Okay, so uh, more, more music. music. Uh, this one here is um, Invisible Touch. This is the title track of the 1986 Genesis album of the same name. Uh, the most successful, their most successful single of all time. And was the band's first and to date only number one single in the United States. So let's go with Invisible Touch and then we'll follow up with uh, Lionel Richie and Hello. So stay tuned. I like that. Yeah, you know, I've forgotten how great that video was. I didn't really know she is. was blind yeah. all these years. Yeah, it, just you just I realized just got that. right yes. now that she was blind. Yeah. yeah. Or without sight. Without sight. Without sight. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. That's great. Yeah. So Hello, how, Lionel Richie from 19. Um, 84. 84. How was your Saturday night? Hope everyone is having a good time. This hour is brought to you by Ola at the Barnyard Shopping Center. Uh, stop by and say hi to Bernadette. Tell her that you are enjoying our Saturday nights with classic music videos. And we're having a ball. We sure have fun We've doing this. We've had pizza. We've had guests. And we have music. Uh, we have fun just uh, seeing the emails. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Absolutely. And I've been all, going of, through. all of you folks are getting entered into the... Uh, Giveaway tonight for a hundred dollar gift certificate to uh, Massage Envy. We had an email come through from Sheila Gale. Really? She's uh, on uh, several. She's on the radio. Oh, several radio stations and internet stations. So. I think I think she's on more radio stations than uh, than anyone I know. I know. She's, Isn't she's, she's, she's on she, Karen. Or, she's on Hell Station and Jim Boston Station. She's now. on five forty a.m. I think once a week, and then she's on every day. On, I'll pull out her schedule. On twelve forty a.m. Get her on the phone and you know. 
I caught, Hi, Sheila. I caught her show today on the radio, and there was a fellow. I've got a. I only caught a part of it, but it was. Uh, he had some interesting stories about the uh, FBI, CIA, kind of like insider information. What, what, what show was this? The Sheila show. Oh, on Sheila. Yeah, show. Sheila Gale's show. Yeah. Anyway, I caught it. It was like really interesting. So, and I believe she has a lot of her shows where you can like listen to the archive versions. So. Oh, cool. You yeah. mean like podcasts? So. Yeah, we'll so, have to do that with I'll, our shows. I'll talk to her. I'll give her a call. Think we can do a podcast of this show? <laughs> a video know. podcast? Well, we're we live, folks. We're live every Saturday. Alex, is, Actually, there, is it, it possible? That takes the live. It's possible. Yeah, but that takes the live element. It, it, well, yeah, because we're not no, streaming. But, uh, no, I, we're not streaming, but we're, we're having fun yes. doing this on Saturday Night Live. Yes. Um, also, uh, I forgot to say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. And Daverly. And Daverly. Hi, Daverly. And so uh, they yeah. sent us an email. So Did I guess, they send an email? Yeah, well, yeah, I got a text or an email from You from wanted Daryl. to talk about the... Oh, I uh, certainly did. Yeah, what is this that? This was in the Herald, and this is the... Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful Chilean flamingo. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is opening a new exhibit. In fact, you were going to go down there today, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to do it early next week. It's uh, well, actually, it doesn't giving, really. It doesn't. Are you giving uh, the fish hopper a? a Where? A oh, <laughs> Chris, shake. There's your free ad. No. <laughs> All right, yeah, in the grotto. Anyway, we have to go see him. We we definitely do. Well, anyway, this is pretty in pink. The actual exhibit doesn't open till Monday. Today was the media event. Oh, okay. And what's really neat about it is there. Um, I've got the information here. They have the. Scarlet and white. Is that ibis? Ibis? Ibis. Chilean flamingos, cattle, egrets, and pe some penguins. Wow. Magellanic penguins on the exhibit for the first time at the aquarium. And they're showing how the climate change is affecting uh, the environment now. But it's not such a uh, gloomy, doomy kind of message. It's more about hope and what a lot of places in the world are doing about you, it. You know what's interesting about the Monterey Bay Aquarium, Jules? is it is right here. Isn't that true? Yeah. Right here, like, you know, 10 minutes away. Yeah. And I'll bet there are a lot of people out there that are watching this show tonight have not been to the Monterey so Bay So the Aquarium. next time you're thinking, where are we going to go on vacation, then that's when you take a staycation. <laughs> a and you staycation. go on Doug Lumsden's Monterey Movie Tours. Right? You go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Absolutely. You drive to Big Sur. There's, There's so, so much here. So many wonderful things to do right here on the Monterey Peninsula. Take it from us because we come originally from the San Joaquin Valley, and you can take the ride there and look at a lot of grapevines. And I think the Blossom Trail is about all you can there's, do. Well, it was close to Yosemite. And but, you can go to but Yosemite. There's but that's still two and a half hours away yeah, from Fresno. And there's Fresno. just no comparison. Yeah. There's just no comparison. We love the Monterey Peninsula, in case you haven't noticed. And So uh, anyway, so be sure and uh, if you know you can find that pink. article. Yeah, find pretty that article and, and, and go down and see the new exhibit. Okay. The well, let's get back to the music. Sounds uh, great. Okay, we, are, uh, we just finished with Lionel Richie. Great, great video called Hello. Now we're going to do Mike and the Mechanics. These videos, incidentally, are all classic videos from the 80s. That's the music we play here on Saturday nights. And uh, I know some of you folks have uh, sent us emails and said you haven't heard these songs in 25 years, so we're happy to bring them back from the past. And we want to thank you for spending your Saturday evenings with Absolutely. Us here. So let's do Mike and the Mechanics, All I Need is a Miracle, and then GTR, and When the Heart Rules the Mind. And, and after that, we've got well, Gary Hamada here. That's right. He's over there. And GTR, by the way, the song uh, that's coming up after Mike and the Mechanics, it was founded, I didn't know this, in 1985 by the ex-Genesis guitarist. There you did go. Did you know this? No, I did not. Yeah. Did Steve not. Hackett and, yes, an Asia guitarist, Steve Howe. There you go. <laughs> Let's go with the music. Here is Mike and the Mechanics, and all I need is a miracle. Well, that just kind of stopped, it didn't sure it? sure did. <laughs> GTR, and uh, that one's called, um, what, what was the name of that? That was called... When the heart rules the mind. When the heart rules the mind. Thank you so much, because I lost my list. That's okay. I snagged it. You took my list. I was list. going to do some more research. We're You're going through more, our lot. We're, we're going, going through, through our a lot of music tonight. More music and less talk. But right now, we want to introduce Gary Hamada. Hi, Gary everyone. is our local resident for locals only program on the Coastal Television Network, and tonight. Right after our show is over at midnight, Gary comes on with his local weekly installment on Comcast Ch Channel 19. 
Welcome, Gary. Welcome again to me. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I've done that twice. The first night I was on, I said, welcome. I'm used to having my own, well, my well, own radio you, show. You, you <laughs> are. You are all actually in this chair, and you have the guests in your chair because you are always the host, and uh, you, but you have know what? the guests. I, I really like this because uh, when you had your radio show, yeah. you were always talking about the guests, mm -hmm. and now we get to talk about you. I'm not used to that. You're right. not used it's to that. It's a very welcome me, and I go, welcome. And, uh, uh, <laughs> we turn the tables on you. We're turning the tables. We're turning the tables on you. Well, yeah. what is happening out there on the Monterey uh, Peninsula there that you is want to so, talk about? There is so much happening. Um, you know, I... I and I used to do the radio show, and uh, Catherine Nagel attested as being my executive producer at that time before he stole her away. Well, we but, stole her yeah. away. Yes, we uh, did. Thank you very much. <laughs> the uh, we um, uh, I used to get all the information coming through me. Yeah, what was happening oh, here? Yeah, and I swear, I know some people would probably love to do me away uh, <laughs> before I, my lips were sealed. I never would tell anything. Uh, Catherine knew some of the things that went on, but we would always pretty much keep a still, you know, mum's a word. And uh, we're very, dis very discreet. Again, the same thing happens. Now that we're on television here, there's a lot of other information that I'm getting. Okay, so you're coming on the show to yeah. tell us that there's things you can't tell us. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> there, are things that you, there are things that you know that you can't talk yeah, about. But if you so listen we, very carefully, you will hear ah, some bits things. Bits and pieces? Yeah, yeah. there's a okay. little... You're you know, going to leave little uh, uh, hints and teasers. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what he does on this show. Subliminal messages, as they call it. <laughs> So if you listen very carefully, you're <laughs> right. Well, you know what? You remember the, the old 45s or the old LPs used to have that. Um, you, yeah. you used to play. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Are you, uh, I was uh, when I was a disc jockey. It was right. 45s. The 45s. We yeah. played 45s. Does anybody remember 45s out probably there? Probably not. Let's bring one. Sure. Well, yeah, we could probably show a 45. Do you have one? I, oh, absolutely. I have 45s and 33s. What did you think the, about the, the old sound albums? On those things compared you, to now? You know, what's really interesting, there was a different sound hmm. off records right. as opposed to CDs, uh, DVDs. Would you say you're a, would you still say you're a vinyl guy or you're a You a, know, uh, if uh, that's a really good question. I'm interviewing Gary. you, see. Well, no, but no, but that's a good you question. You like the DVD clarity, but there's something nostalgic yeah. about putting on yeah. because we, oh. I got one for his anniversary. Mm -hmm. Was it last year or year before? I got him the the machine that you put play the record. You can play the record and, and then it makes a DVD. There's something about the vinyl, CD. right? You get the lowers. Uh, the, lower, uh, the, the vinyl has a quality yeah. to it that uh, CDs the richness, don't have. A little yeah. bit of richness, yeah. Yeah, it really does. You know, it's really well. People say that film. You know, is actually better than video. So, if you go to the movies today, a lot of what you see was shot on video and then transferred to film. What about your com uh, your comments on the uh, the, the uh, on your station, uh, MGM, the archive films? A lot of them are black and white. I bet you're getting a they lot are. of people are saying, they "I are. love the black and white better than the color." And I'll I'll bet you uh, uh, as any amount of money that you want. Those That's movies, I know it's dangerous, <laughs> but, I, but, but I, I, I would dare say that all the movies mm -hmm. that are in the MGM library that you see on our channel are all on video. Yeah. On video? video? Are they, yeah. are they, would they be colorized, some of them? No, think, well, not anymore. Yeah. They, you know, they did that for a while. T, uh, Turner did oh, it. Do you know, really why, do you know yeah. one reason they did it? Was when, and I just read this, when the copyright was about to expire and it was going to go into public mm -hmm. domain and they wanted to retain the rights, all they'd have to do is colorize it. And it would start and it over restarted again. the, 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 copyright, the, process. the copyright process. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's interesting is that the movie Casablanca was colorized, but I dare you to find a colorized version today that you can buy. They put them on the market and then they took them off the market and you can't find Casablanca. Would you like to see the outtakes of that Casablanca oh. when Humphrey Bogart standing on the, in the apple crate? <laughs> uh, with Ingrid, I think Ingrid Bergman was what, six feet tall, was I she? I think she was. She and was, uh, Humphrey's and he would, about was a five, short, seven. Was a short guy. <laughs> we need to get somebody on each week that has that kind of well, information. Well, you know what? I'll tell you who might who? have that information and he might be coming. Tonight, I'm, I'm, surprise I, I, guest? Right, it was Luke Yankee who's uh -huh. playing yeah. uh, in Carmel. He has a performance, yeah. and, he, and he grew up around all the all of that, all those stories and all yeah, those. Yeah, that'd ladies. be great to have him uh, talk about. Yeah, I'm about hoping it. I've got a cell phone number. When mm -hmm. we go to well, the let's music, let's hope he I'm shows gonna, tonight. Yeah, I'm going to call yeah, him. Yeah, really. Let's I had a surprise guest like. scheduled, but uh, uh, it, 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 it was conflicting today. Okay. And the surprise guest is uh, was somebody that is really uh, very much entrenched in the entertainment business here, as interviewed some of the top, all the top. 
artists around You know what here. I'll do? I, I didn't, I, I was waiting to hear who his guest was to put him on the website and put to be announced. Yeah, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Gary, Hamada, and surprise <laughs> guests. Surprise, and yes, I'm always yes. going to put and surprise guests, so then it'll and be And then good. we'll all be surprised. And we'll all be surprised. It would have been. That's what I'll do. Well, it, this, this, she, she didn't have a, 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 a previous date. and I uh, said, you know. Is she local? Yeah. Is there anybody that you know of that's coming to town that we haven't talked about to tell the folks in the next week, two weeks, month, um, anybody that you can think of, any artists that are coming to town? Well, it depends on what type of artists. Are we talking about performing arts? Or are we talking about... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the musical artists. Musical artists. I, I would say uh, if, you haven't go, if you're not catching the uh, Bela Fleck uh, concert, you're going to miss something really extraordinary okay. there at the Sunset. And we're going to be taking you backstage the Sunset very soon on For Locals Only on Location. Uh, along with uh, the uh, Kim Edmondson, uh, his wife, who is Michelle Edmondson. Uh, the, uh, Kim Edmondson, by the way, is on the soundtrack of just about every Clint Eastwood movie, just about every oh. uh, uh, Lucas Spielberg movie. He, they like her. Mm. No, no, Kim Edmondson, the drummer. Oh, oh the, the drummer. drummer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. he's also, if you, okay. if you tune into most of the television networks, all the drum tracks you hear, that's Kim Edmondson. Oh, wow. After a while, I have to turn I it off. i got to check <laughs> that out. Yeah. I didn't know that. But Michelle Edmondson is his general manager. Oh. Really? What? CSI. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. My, CSI Miami. Yeah. Really? And Will and Grace. Yeah. Uh, just a, a ton of movies he's been on the soundtrack of. Is he a local? Yeah. Well, let's get him on as a you guest. You can get him from the Lucas. Uh, he's over at Lucas Ranch a lot. Get him, you know? get him on as we'll a guest. We'll find him on Facebook. Find, find him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll get Kim. Kim's. Are you on Facebook? Yes. Yes, oh. he is. Mm -hmm. and, and you're on Facebook. I am. And I'm not on Facebook. Well, I don't have why time. Is that? You're I, 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 no, I don't have time. I just, you know, I work during the week too. I actually do. People you know, don't think I Gary's, do. This, he, he, but we have other TV have a, stations to run. The way you have a run. following yeah. in Carmel, yeah. Gary's got that kind of a following out of Fresno. Out of Fresno, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we still go back and forth to Fresno to our corporate office there uh, during uh, the week. In fact, we were there this last week, and um, we spend about three or four days a month there. Three or four very miserable, <laughs> <laughs> miserable days because allergy. Julie can't uh, can't breathe in I that San Joaquin Valley. Air quality is a little tough during oh. the summer months, especially aren't oh, they over there? Yeah, it's, it, well, everything's in bloom right now, so it was really difficult for her to breathe. She yeah. came back and she said, "I can breathe again." And I can go to work. Yeah. How, how do you she take the uh, hundred degree weather uh, every day? In you the know, present? you get used to it. It yeah. really isn't is. that if why the coastal television network thrives <laughs> over there? Yes, because it's yeah. one hundred and nine. <laughs> outside and they watch the rolling waves. Yes, one of the things that we think that we're going to tell folks to do when they watch the Coastal Television Network is just turn it on to cool off. <laughs> That's well, and to what? Gary says, he had me last summer put a crawl at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Fresno, 109, Monterey, 57, Six, 62. Yes. That's why you see that wave come in on CTN. Yeah. Oh, just everybody gets right. Do you, do you feel that? The, 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 the it just cools you off yeah. when you see the wave. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play a little bit more music. Can you stick around? Uh, absolutely. Okay, yeah. let's uh, let's go back with, um, um, you, oh, is this ZZ Top? You like ZZ Top. I love ZZ Top. You know, it, what's really interesting is, um, what got me into the television business, Gary, and you don't know this, was my vision for a music television channel. And my first TV channel was supposed to MTC. be... MTC. It was going to be, it was gonna be <laughs> a music video channel in Fresno back in the 80s. And um, when we finally got the station on the air, uh, MTV had already happened but on But didn't cable. you end up having the box... We did uh, years you later. You ended up yeah, hold the thought. Why, maybe yeah. it can still happen because there's a, there's well, a real need. I'll tell you what, there's a need for it. Well, right? actually, there is a we're chat work, cool, we're, cool TV. Yeah, we're working yeah. with Cool TV yeah. right now, and uh, we'll have uh, Cool TV as a but you know video what? music there channel. There is so many local artists with original music right out of this area that there is no reason why there wouldn't be enough for one of our digital oh, channels absolutely. to do all just local artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so there's, anyway. you know, music is my passion. Okay. Lo love music. And, and the ZZ Top in this particular video is a great video from, from the 80s. Here, let's well, go on, with... Were you on the radio? Did you go with your name? No. No, no. I, when, you know I, when, I was on the, when I was on the radio here in Monterey, it was Gary Morris. And you know why? 
Yeah. Gary Morris now, any reason light, for light, Well, yes, because um, the sponsor of the program was uh, Pepsi-Cola. and uh, RC, wasn't RC it? Cola. RC, RC Cola. Cola. Oh, yeah. RC yeah. Cola. And they, they didn't want Coca-Cola, Gary Coca-Cola. Oh. So they made him use his middle name. <laughs> so so I Gary used, Morris. So I used my middle yeah. name. I yeah. was on the radio. I was Gary Morris on the radio. I was going to change my name at one time, too, when I was on the radio. Really? Yeah. To what? Some guy told me I should change the G T uh, GTO. <laughs> 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 but I have to change my last name then. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> anyway, Alex, let's go with uh, ZZ Top. Here's Legs from uh, Monterey on tonight. Hello, welcome to Alberto's Restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's, you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare, and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's, we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud. Salud. And there's Alberto, Alberto's Ristorante in Pacific Grove, California. He's the sponsor of... He was a great guest. ...the 10 o'clock hour. You know, uh, Gary, if you haven't been over to Alberto's, he will tell you stories mm -hmm. about his years in Malibu with all of the stars, Barbara Streisand and Don Rickles. Sinatra used to come into the restaurant, I'll tell you. I called over there one, uh, on my radio show once, and... Uh, and he was supposed to be on with Ray Napolitano. Oh, yes. And uh, Ray uh, said, let me hand the phone over uh, to his guest that's having dinner here. It was Kat Cora, the Iron Chef from the Food Network. See that? that? Was having dinner there. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, he is so well connected. And his food is really good. His, yeah. probably the best Italian well, food I have eaten. we have. Uh, Outside of Italy. Right, but Isabella's on the wharf has got a ton. Yes, food. Isabella's is good, too. Oh, well, you know, it's really difficult. Different. It's a different kind Isn't of Italian. Different? Yeah. 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 But, Tini, but you know, Tini's cooking is a little different than Alberto's. Alberto's, Italy. Yes. Italy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, listen, nothing against our friend, good friend, Tini Shea. Uh, Tini has... Um, in fact, he's on our Coastal Television yeah. Network every day with his Coastal Cuisine Show. We have such wonderful restaurants. We have so many wonderful restaurants between when you put them all together. We are so lucky to have all those restaurants right here on the Monterey Peninsula, and Alberto's is one of them. Mm -hmm. and so many people think that it's expensive to go and eat at these you know, it's very not. fine restaurants. It's not. It's not at it's all. Not. It's a oh, myth. it's not. It's a yeah. great, it's a great, uh, and especially when meal. you enter a drawing and you win. <laughs> Alberto's Alberto hey. is one of the places where you can go where the Iron Chefs dine. That's right. And at the same time, you're getting quality food. He made us chicken marsala. <laughs> it was and outstanding. He, and he gave us this basil cello instead of lime cello as a liqueur. He made this like basil cello. Anyway, it's just so good. I hope you're watching Alberto. Yeah. Hope everything's going good well guy over too. there. Yeah. Yeah. Hope everything's going well over there on Forest Avenue in Pacific Grove in the Forest Hill Shopping Center. Yeah. Yep. And we'll right be coming by. Right across from Safeway. We'll be coming by. Yes, we will. And, you know, if uh, talking about giving things away, we have our little uh, nightly uh, contest. If you haven't entered, please enter by going to our website. KYMBTV.com. There's the uh, There address. it is on. Thank you, Alex. We and, have a feedback uh, form right on the front page. Put your name in. No purchase is necessary. We're going to put your name in the hopper here tonight. And uh, just before midnight, our producer, Catherine, is going to pull out the winner of the $100 gift certificate to Massage NV. And that goes a long way. It, it, she you said can it was do a, a lot with that. She you, said $100, $100. No, $100 for it. It, it gets you an hour and a half massage. Yep. Because her massage is the introductory rate is, I think, $49. So it's an it hour is. and a half massage it's or couple's massage. Couple's massage. Or a hot stone massage. And if you have never partaked of a massage, you are really missing out. Do they take turns in an hour and a half? Can you imagine the one person? No, they do. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Hey, maybe really they have you know, every half hour someone else comes, comes in, in and in. takes over. Gary, do you know where they're located? Yeah, yeah right there? by Trader Joe's. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. On yeah. Uh, Moon Ross uh, in the shopping My neighbor center. used to go there. Really? Yeah. Uh, there How many do men do men get massages? Well, this is the sure. woman who went there, but, right? Oh. But but really, because uh, you had a massage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not and as I guess, probably not as often as I should. You prefer a guy or a girl? You know, it, it doesn't it's matter a to episode, me. Man. Yeah, you know, they, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It is. Yeah, do you prefer a guy or a gal to give you a uh, massage? I, it, to me, it doesn't matter. There, you know, I've had uh, great massages from both sexes. So, yeah. Hey, it's I had a guy once. Healthy. Give me. It was like it looked like a hell's angel when he came out. Oh. <laughs> It's very healthy, though, for Yes, for it you. is. It's good for your body. Yeah. 
good for your body. So, so anyway, enter our contest. Um, Gary, uh, what yeah. else is happening? Uh, who's on your show tonight? Well, we've got midnight? a really good show tonight. Uh, and I, I say this because it has to do with the Monterey Bay Blues Festival. And we were, I was I had the privilege of emceeing uh, the show there this year, one of the stages. And I was there for the entire three days and got up front and close to a lot of the, the, uh, the performers. And... Um, uh, got enough uh, footage to show that you know where we were broadcasting from, and also where, you know we were able to. I was doing the emceeing, and we interviewed a couple of really top-notch performers. One uh -huh. going back all the way to the days that I used to know. I used to be work with Sly and the Family Stone and Bill Graham. This fellow's still playing the guitar. Really. And He's shy. Do you know a lot of musicians? You know they get they on stage are. and they're crazy, right? But yes. And, but then, and when they go back, they're totally withdrawn. Very, very, very shy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get. They get, a, get a, I got a lot of words out of him only because I knew him from way back. Uh, and his name is Bobby Young. And he's uh, on tonight. Uh, he's on tonight. But the, the, the really the person that is the up and comer is a, a, a gal by the name of Cheryl Rouse, and she uh, performed on. She'll be performing on the main stage this year. Uh huh. Uh, and she is the only artist ever to be undefeated on the Apollo Live television show. No kidding. I mean, you know how, wow. how brutal those guys can be on, on yeah, that show. Oh, yeah. And uh, she went through the whole thing undefeated. And um, she, she's on the show tonight with an interview, and uh, she's the up-and-comer from Louisville, Kentucky. Well, oh, stay tuned. There's also a nice restaurant, uh, talking about restaurants. Uh, we interviewed this. We went to this restaurant late at night after the show, uh, after interviewing and after the emceeing called Demetra's in, in Carmel, California. And I have to give credit to Catherine Nagel for actually introducing me to really? the two owners, where, where, Faisal and, uh, and Bashar. Where are they located? They're located right on Ocean Avenue. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ever think that a top-notch restaurant is expensive, you're totally mistaken. This is the best restaurant. In, they, they are now voted the best restaurant in Carmel last year by the Carmel Oh, oh my goodness. Congress. Well, we all have to try that one out. And that's right on Ocean. Demetra's, D-A-M-E-T-R-A. -E okay, do you know the closest cross street? Uh, it's right up from uh, the um, um, uh, from the uh, Cypress Inn. Okay, right across Lincoln. Oh, right across street from the library. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's try that. So okay. that is on the show tonight. What so did you order? I, there. Yo, here's the thing. He brings out. He brings out the food. Oh, okay. okay so you don't night. order. So, he just yeah. So he brought out the sit best. down and enjoy. There's a, lamb, a leg of lamb that looked like it was a, a tree trunk in front of me. <laughs> <when he brought> <laughs> well, watch the show tonight yeah. at midnight. Yeah. Uh, right here on uh, Comcast Channel 19. Uh, right after Monterey on tonight, Gary Hamada and four locals only. And uh, hopefully uh, Gary's going to be back on the radio soon. We can't talk about that yet, but uh, yeah, I, we're working I, I, on it. I do have a person, a very close uh, friend, and he happened to be the CEO and president of K. Armel for many years, uh, Gil Wisdom. That's his real name, Wisdom. Gil Wisdom. And uh, he is going to uh, come on the show right after everything. Uh, he told me he'll come on the show. Great. Right, well, right you now. bring him on as yeah. uh, your guest, and we'll have yeah. him here on uh, Monterey on tonight. We've got some shows in development right now. And, Good. Uh, Tell you, uh, Carol Richmond, yeah. uh, who will be doing a, a show about health, uh, eating at different restaurants, and she, she did a health and fitness segment. Uh, Beth Pierce and Mac McDonald from the Monterey County Herald will do, uh, talking about doing entertainment. Mac said that he would do a, uh, minor, uh, he does a Mac around town in his column, but he says that since he's been married, he's no longer Mac around town, he's uh -huh. Mac around the house. So, yeah, he's probably going to defer to Beth Peerless. <laughs> uh, and we also have Monta Potter from the Carmel Chamber of Commerce, the CEO, uh, to do a guide to Carmel report down the road, as well as Ray Napolitano. From, wow. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, like I've always said, you you are well connected. Yeah. How's Michael Adamson doing? Michael's doing well. He just finished up his uh, new financial report. Oh, by the way, I have to tell you to stay and, and, and be, be, be you know, um, dil diligent about watching the Coastal TV Network because Michael Adamson's next financial uh, forecast is going to help you out a lot if you're in business. He's got a lot of really good information on Coastal okay. Television Network is on tonight uh, right after your show. Mm, I'm not sure. In if fact, I... you're part of it. Right. And uh, it stays uh, stays on for about six hours tonight right here on uh, Comcast Channel 19. And those of you that would like to see uh, the uh, Coastal Television Network on a regular basis, it's on our digital channel 27.3, 24 hours a day. But you do need an antenna. Yep. And speaking of the Monterey Herald... Uh, Lane Wallace, uh, we didn't see our little <laughs> blurb this last week. With our show guests. Yeah, with our show guests. So maybe, you know maybe Lane was 
Nobody. No, uh, no. She lives. Nobody Gale. got a plug. Nobody. Money dots didn't get a plug. Yeah. So I hope he's on a well deserved. I, I think Lane's vacation. probably on vacation. And he's so. well earned it, I'm sure. He's anyway, so I'll helpful. put a call into him next week and see if he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, Gary, thanks for being here as Thank usual. You for we me. we look forward to your Saturday night visits and uh, any uh, any uh, hot news out there that you can bring to the show each week is welcomed. I would have brought some tonight. Well, uh, but uh, I was going to bring Beth Peerless tonight. I, I can let the cat out of the bag. Well, that's and, uh, all right. But next time, uh, she's welcome. And, uh, you know, obviously, we, we like to, to hear what's going on in the mm -hmm. community. And you have your ear, definitely, and eyes to the to the pulse of the market. <laughs> Don't you think, Jules? Yeah. I mean, Gary is... Uh, Remind me of those old cartoons, you know, where they put where, their ear to the ground. Yeah, and <laughs> Do you not remember that those? That was Gary. <laughs> That's Gary. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get back to the uh, to the music. Uh, let's see. We uh, we had um, a great run there with ZZ Top uh, and Legs and uh, Wild Wild West by by Escape Club, uh, Night Ranger. When you close your eyes, and now Eurythmics. We are going to the Eurythmics, and uh, this is a great one from uh, the '80s. And right after that is Simply Red. Again, I, you know, I I say this when I really like. Well, no, when I say again. I say I really like that video, but Simply the Simply Red. Red video, I really like that I video. I did. I know. I did too. <laughs> this is, uh, you know. And I've uh, got the story. So holding back the if years. If you stay tuned, I'll tell you the story of what inspired that video. Okay. So the Eurythmics first and then uh, Simply Red and holding back thanks, the Gary, years. Oh, thanks, Gary, for coming Thank you we'll again, We'll see you Gary. next see you. week. Thank you, Julia. Okay, bye-bye. That is uh, Simply Red and one of my favorites uh, from the 80s. And you know, one of the interesting things about that song was the songwriter wrote it when he was 17. Really? Yes, and, and he actually didn't finish the song until he was on Later in Life, but he had some sad things happen in his life with his mom. And anyway, and he, he wrote that song at a very, as a very young man. Well, so I, pretty, uh, huh? when I first heard that, we used to do a music video late at night in Fresno called the Coca-Cola Countdown. Really? And uh, when it was, was on. That? It was on in the '80s on Channel 59 in Fresno, and uh, that's when I enamored myself to music videos. We ran that program from the Much Music Network in Canada, uh, in the San Joaquin Valley, and that was where I first heard that uh, music video. Uh, There's Simply been a Red. lot of music networks. You had the Box. The MTV, Box Music, vi Much yeah, the Video music. Jukebox Network, Much and Music. Now there's Cool TV. Yep. So yeah. it's nice that they're still around. They, they, they're around, but in a little different uh, format. Uh, of course, as you know, and you and I have talked about it, MTV now is reality television, and so is VH1, although they do play music videos late at night. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, uh, I think Much Music is still around, and there's also uh, a couple of other music video channels, but Cool TV is the one that we're getting our music videos from. And uh, we're working on uh, our new channel, and hopefully uh, we'll have a music video channel uh, very soon. We want to thank our Monterey viewers Peninsula. also for sending us the emails. We've got a we are many, doing many great emails. Tonight. We're building up our yes. Our uh, we're putting them jar. right in the jar. This here is for a hundred dollar massage envy gift card. Uh, massage envy 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 yes. E N V E V Y E N V Y. They are located near Trader Joe's. And let's not forget who is paying for this hour tonight, Jules. Alberto. Alberto from Alberto's Ristorante in Pacific Grove. On Forest Ave. On Forest Avenue, and we had him on as a guest last week. What a what a great guy he is. So when you go in, say, "Hey, Alberto, tell us some stories." The Coca-Cola said you've got some stories yeah, from the movie star we, days. We heard about uh, the uh, Malibu days. And all the stars coming into the restaurant. Chef to the stars. Yes, he was. Alberto. He was. Stop by and say hi. So we have an event here tomorrow. Something you want to talk about. Well, I just heard about this. Okay. We were at the Hospitality Association uh, annual dinner last night. Yes. What a lovely right. evening that was. Boots, Boots and Bling. Boots and Bling and hi, Marcy Bracco. <laughs> hi, everyone. So, and actually, one of our table mates uh, told me about treasures and pleasures at the Monterey County Fairgrounds tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., and it's benefiting the Alzheimer's Association of Monterey County. Well, great. It's uh, $50, and I, I was checking out the website. It looks like it's more of a high-end, antique, 
I don't want to say swap meet, mm -hmm. but it's basically a collection of antiques and so that you can kind of carouse around and look at what's there. And then they have refreshments as well. Fun. It's 4 to 7 p.m. So nobody has to get up early really? <laughs> on a Sunday to That'll go. That'll work for us. <laughs> we might be there. Sounds good. Yeah. So, so great. Well, good. Good. It's five uh, minutes till eleven. Five to eleven. We're uh, here uh, every, The next five uh, minutes is brought to uh, uh, you all out there in TV land by Mr. Alberto Bonatelli of uh, Alberto's Ristorante in Pacific Grove, California. The next hour at eleven o'clock is going to be brought to you by our good friends at Jose's Mexican Restaurant. Jose's Underground. Yeah, Jose's Underground. In fact, there's probably music going on right now down there. With the Gregario and uh, they have a Ozzy. They have a variety of music. They uh, Most only on the weekends, I heard, they have more of the hard rock kind of yeah. music. According, But just recently, they switched it out and did acoustic guitar. They're probably back to some of that uh, rock music. But during the week, on Wednesday nights, they have 80s music. We have to go down for the 80s night, and I want to go down on karaoke night. That's Thursday. Is it Thursday? Thursday okay, night. We have to do that. That okay. would be fun. Okay. <laughs> I'll test out my vocal cords. Who wants to hear Gary sing? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> All the hands in the studio went <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Anyway, okay, back to the music. and. Um, if you'd like to enter a drawing, be sure. Yes, go to our website, uh, kymbtv.com. And enter. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, Herbie Hancock. This is a music video from when, Jules? Rocket. I left my papers over there. Oh, did I'll you? say it when we come back. Okay, That's so. That's okay, Catherine. I'll get it. Yeah, we'll do it after. I was and are we going to do Madonna? Sure. Let's yeah, we'll do, do Madonna two. Into the Groove. We'll do two. We'll do uh, two music videos. So Herbie Hancock and Rocket first, and then followed up by Madonna. And uh, Madonna's Into the Groove. Thank Here you, you go. Thanks for, for watching. watching Monterey. On. You're watching Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And we're here from 8 o'clock till midnight every Saturday night right here on Comcast. Four hours. Comcast Channel 19, four hours live of music TV. videos, live TV, and we're having fun, right? Absolutely. And everyone in the studio is having fun. And I hope out there in the uh, audience at home, you viewers that are watching the show are enjoying the music videos. We are having a ball bringing them to you. We like uh, the music ourselves. We, we love the music. In fact, like I said earlier, Simply Red was one of my favorites you from know, the 80s. Do you remember when you said that if you really like a song, you can play it twice? Yes. So maybe before tonight's over, we'll, we'll do play it again. <laughs> sure, why not? Anyway, you were you were looking uh, uh, at uh, the cars, but let me uh, let me backtrack here. We had Herbie Hancock on. That was quite a interesting video, a little bit earlier. Lots of effects in that, and it then was. we had Into the Groove by Madonna. That goes back to July of '85, and. Um, you might think the video that you just saw is a single by the Cars from their fifth studio album, Heartbeat City. Didn't know they had that many studio albums, which came out in 1984. The track was written by Rick Osaic and produced by Mutt Lang. Do you know who Mutt Lang is? No. <gasps> I do. Who I only Mutt? know it because you are I mean, a fan be, of Shania. That's right. That was. And she, that was. They were her, married. That was her husband. Up until up until they got a, a divorce within the are last couple of years. Yeah, they're divorced. Finally. Now. Why did you say finally? Well, I meant I didn't know if they were like going through a divorce because no, sometimes no. it takes years for these no, movie stars. No. Well, you know what? That's a good question. We'll have to go on Google and find out if they're divorced. But they had a baby or a son. Yes. Didn't they have a son yes, together? Yes. Mutt Lang. Mutt Lang was the um, producer of this video that you just saw, you might think. And Osaic uh, sang lead vocals. Um, the music video is one of the first videos to use computerized effects. And the model that you saw in the video is often mistaken for KX, uh, Osaic's future wife, Paulina Porzakova. Who was in the video Drive. Yes. Which we played during one of our first shows. Right. I think it was our first show. Was it our first yeah. show? Yeah, okay. and and that was actually his wife. That that's his that wife. is his, well. At she's, the time. I wonder if they're still married. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go his on. His future and now. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, past. Well, you know, past and <laughs> can't keep up, folks. It's show business. Anyway, uh, if you happen to just flip on uh, the dial, it's uh, Monterey on tonight, and we're here on Comcast Channel 19. We're playing music videos from the classic years, the early 80s. And we've got 80s. a couple of more months of the 80s, and then we'll move on we'll to graduate another, into another, another era. era. 
Yeah, we're researching uh, what our next era. I'll probably move into the 90s. Although well, the 90s started uh, with a lot of rap music. Yes. Uh, you know what? And I don't know whether we're going we'll to be doing that We'll have to check the, their collection and yeah. see what they have. See but what I will tell you, during the week, we have some really great movies. And after the next set of songs. On this channel. Yes, mm -hmm. on this channel. Because MGM Movie Studios started this TV network. Mm -hmm. And the reason they called it this TV was because they have themes of the shows that they play. So they have This Is Romance. This is drama, drama. This is classic. So they, you know, this is scary. They have all of these, all of these themes. That's 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 why they call it. So this that's TV. why it's this TV. But it's movies from the MV, MGM movie network. And then MGM acquired Canon, Polygram, Orion, Orion, Orion. Films. So they actually have a collection of over four thousand movies, and there are so many movie stars. So if you have a business. Or if you have an idea for a show, we yeah. do have um, avails for sponsors of yes, airtime. We do, and we can send you our media kit and our rate sheet. And I mean, it's it's really this is a great channel to represent your business because you're in between the movie stars. Like I said, you know, Elvis no, and Frankie Avalon really, and, and Betty Davis and and all of these are tired in, of watching all that news or long form infomercials. Yes, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of channels that are strictly infomercials here on the Monterey Peninsula. So yeah. we you don't know, we don't we, there will be commercials, but it won't be the 28 minutes of the. Snuggie. You will not see any 28 minute infomercials on this channel. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Should we do some more music here? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay, here's one from the Go-Go's. This oh, was a this great was female group. Uh, this is a 1984 single, and the all-female uh, pop rock new wave band. Uh, I think it was one of the first. Um, the Go-Go's were a fun group, yeah, all-girl really. band. Yeah, I wonder where they are today. If anybody knows what happened to the ladies that were in the Go-Go's. We'll Google it, Gary. Yeah, send us an email. Well, it makes it easier if they send it to <laughs> then us. Then I don't have to write it. you don't have to go do it. <laughs> anyway, if you're, if you're up watching right now and uh, you're looking for something to do, let us know whatever happened to the Go-Go's. And then enter to win our... Yes. And enter to win. We're going to put your name right in here. And tonight, card. before we go off the air, Catherine Nagel, our producer, will draw out one of those for the $100 gift certificate good at Massage NV down on uh, Moonross uh, near Trader Joe's and, in the shopping center. And they center can there. enter at our website, kymbtv.com. Absolutely. So okay. let's go with the Go-Go's, and then we're going to follow that up by Two of Hearts. It's a song by American pop singer-dancer and actress Stacy Q from her debut album, Better Than Heaven. So two music videos for you. Here they are right now. Uh, Stacy Q. Yes, Stacy Q. Stacy Q, not Stacy O. Stacy Q, Two of Hearts. And before that, the Go-Go's, and I was asking uh, if anyone uh, knew what, would, what had happened to... Um, Belinda? Belinda Carlisle, and I have a email here that says, uh, in 1986... Belinda Carlisle married Morgan Mason, son of the British actor James Mason, huh. and former special assistant to the President of the United States. A Mason made a Her husband or her husband's father was no. assistant? Morgan Mason was former special assistant to the President of the United States. Mason made oh, appearances sure. in Carlisle's videos, Mad About You and Heaven is a Place on Earth. They have a son, James Duke Mason, born on April 27, 1990. 92. And when she turned 40, she cleaned up her life. It says, yes, yeah, she did. And uh, she Carlisle smoking. endorsed Hillary Clinton for president during the Democratic <laughs> primaries and subsequently endorsed Barack Obama during the general <laughs> Does that election. Really well, no, I, 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 I think this is great stuff here. I mean, it's like what happened to Belinda Carlisle? Well, it doesn't look like she's doing In music. January, but look at this. In January 2009, it was announced that Carlisle was appointed the new spokesperson for Nutrisystem. Well, isn't um, on November eight two thousand nine? No, Marie Osmond Marie is, Osmond. is Marie Osmond. No, she yeah. was she was doing some. Was she doing Nutrisystem or something else? Was Marie she? Osmond. So this must be. Well, it was November of oh nine. Uh, Belinda uh, appeared on the UK BBC cookery show Something for the Weekend. She assisted while making fig rolls, and according <laughs> to her official website, Carlisle is recording new material, which is due to be finished in twenty ten. <laughs> Her autobiography. Look at that. She wrote an autobiography. See? Maybe you'll read that, too. <laughs> her, her autobiography, uh, Lips Unsealed, a memoir, 
is set for release in May um, 2010. And thank you, uh, Daverly Gill, for sending me uh, the information on <laughs> Belinda Carlisle. I mean, it's all right there. Well, Anything you ever wanted to know about anybody is on the Internet. Let's look up Gary Cocola. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. There's a lot of stuff on the Internet about me, too. I tell it's you, all I, good. It's all good, but it's I don't know good. where this stuff comes from. Isn't anyway, it Okay, so that was... Um, What's next? That let's see. That was the Go Go's. Today was a beautiful day, by the way. It was. You got the Did weather report. Did you get report? to go? I. Well, f right now it's fifty-two degrees. Yes. Sixty-three. On, you know what I used to say at KMBY? It's fifty-two degrees on Cannery Row. <laughs> okay. With my, with my disc jockey voice. Okay. Well, then I'm going to give you the temperature. And what are you going to say on uh, on at KYMB? I'm on the in the KYMB studios. <laughs> It's, Charlotte will uh, get a kick out of that because she'll kick remember out. Right. you. Okay, on let's that. see. And uh, so it's 63 degrees tomorrow. tomorrow. Is that the high? And Monday, and Monday through Wednesday, showers. So how would you say that? Oh, uh, but um, showers. Showers are in the forecast. Which is great because I don't have to water my lemon trees. There you go. The rain will do it for me. Okay. Anyway, uh, this little banter is brought to you tonight by uh, Jose's <laughs> underground. Uh, underground down on uh, Wave Street. Uh, Jose's Underground. Uh, and then they have a restaurant on the, re the restaurant. Is it Broadway is, or there's Del two Monte? restaurants. It's the restaurant on Cannery Row and Wave Street and the Underground, where the music is. Okay. And then over on Broadway and Del Monte. That it's really good too. That is they their really uh, seaside too. restaurant. Yes. Right Very down good. the street from the Embassy Suites. And me and Ed's. And me and Ed's, So yes. you should just, like, take a day uh, and go to all of them. You know, that's Embassy. maybe we ought to have a bus tour of all of <laughs> our sponsors' restaurants, and we'll just kind of drive around the Monterey Peninsula and stop just to sample the well, food. Well, what we're going to do for sure is yeah. we're going to actually, next show, we're going to put a date on the calendar where we can all go because we can meet our viewers. Yeah, that be kind fun. enough to write in regularly. Okay. So. Maybe we can use Doug's Monterey Movie Tours bus. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll just meet there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, okay, whatever. All right, so that was uh, okay. Now we're going to we're going to have a couple of more videos tonight. Uh, let's see, it's already eleven twenty-five. In excess is and next, sticks. and then sticks. Too much time on my hands. And then we'll come back. And then we'll come back, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Here's more music on Monterey on tonight. Jose's Mexican Restaurant and Grill. Come in and treat yourself to a refreshing margarita. Experience the warm, delicious taste of Mexico. They use only the finest ingredients and so affordable that you can bring the whole family. Jose's Mexican Restaurant, a family favorite with two locations to serve you. In Seaside, on Del Monte at Broadway, and in Monterey at Wave Street near Cannery Road. Local and family owned, come let Jose and Gregario serve you. There's uh, Ozzy and Gregorio, Jose's Mexican Restaurants, uh, two locations, Cannery Row. Well, one block up. From on Wave Street. On Wave Street, yes. And uh, Broadway and Del Monte in Seaside. And uh, thank you guys for being our one-hour sponsor here tonight from 11 to midnight, our last hour. And as I said last week, isn't it interesting that all of our sponsors are restaurants? Well, we now have Massage Envy. We do. So that you can go massage all those calories away. And right? we're giving away that one hundred dollar <laughs> gift certificate. There's tonight. still time. You've got still about time. ten more minutes. Yep, uh, about fifteen more minutes. If you guys send us an email, kymbtv.com. We have a uh, feedback form right on the front. Real of the easy. Homepage. Just go right on to the feedback form, enter your name and uh, how we can contact you. Email address is fine. No purchases you know, necessary. I gotta call that Luke. Yankee. Luke I Yankee he, did not make it. But you know what? I might just uh, send him a text right now. Remind me as soon yeah, as we go to the next well, song. Well, he's really running out of time. <laughs> we so. could stay on later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then what's going to happen to uh, Gary's uh, For Locals Only Oh, that's show? true. That's right. And Gary's yeah. For Locals Only will start about eight minutes past the hour. It will? We, yes, we have a... Um, uh, promo for the Pebble Beach Food and Wine. Oh. And then we have uh, an interview with the Pine Inn. We do. It's about five minutes. And then Gary Hamada's Four Locals Only show, show comes okay. on about 10 after midnight. Ten, 10 after midnight tonight. So, anyway, um, you had uh, dug I something did. out of my... Uh, my old well, uh, you wouldn't let trunk. you wouldn't let us go on the internet and look you up. Yeah. But you didn't know that when we were in Fresno this last trip, 
I had grabbed some photos because we have a, We're a gonna wall do our, here. Our wall of shame here at the fame. studio. Oh, wall of fame, fame at the studio. So I found this photo of Gary. This is, uh, folks, this is many years ago when I first started doing television as a as a kid. You're you handsome just, now, but you were handsome well, then, too. You can see look it, at that. It's many, many years Gary ago. Gary wanted to be a game show host. I wanted to be a game show host. And look at the tie. And I noticed the other night that Ryan Seacrest was wearing a tie exactly like well, that. Well, you know what? They were uh, back in the 80s. They came back in the 80s, yeah. and then they went out for a while. I'm going to have to dig and see if I still have... Uh, have look at how big those cameras were. Look at that. Yeah, can you believe that? Now, so the, that, what, tell us about this show, Gary. The well, this was, show. A, uh, this was a show uh, that I did uh, five days a week in Fresno. I like it. Uh, from uh, 5 to 6 o'clock. It was called the Anything Go Show, and we had people come on and talk about anything they wanted to talk about, and we had live bands and from the high schools, and uh, it was a fun show to do. Couldn't so make any live, money. that but was live show? And then you had the t the record hops, right? Uh, TV record. Actually, the record hop was before this. Before the TV this. record hop was before. And I have this. another photo. Maybe next week I'll yeah, pull with, that one with, out. With Al Radka back in the Fresno days. Does anybody out there remember Al Radka from uh, Fresno? Probably. Well, probably unless they're transplants from Fresno they over would here know. to the Monterey he Peninsula. He created a lot of jingles that he did. were very, very well. He was loved. my mentor. Yep. He's the guy that got me into and the television how we met. business. That's right. Through Al Radka. Yep. So anyway, what's next on the music? Well, let's go uh, play a couple of more music videos. Right now, we uh, we just finished with Sticks, and uh, we're gonna do uh, uh, pop music from M. Where is that? 1979. 1979. Wow, way back to 79. Mm -hmm. This is a fun uh, oh, song. Oh, that is fun. Do you yeah, remember the pop music? Pop, pop music. Yeah. And then Lover Boy and Loving Every Minute of It. So From more music, uh, more music right here on Monterey on tonight. Enjoy. Hey, how about that? <laughs> that yeah. was funny. That's, that's great. Lover was... Boy, ev loving every minute of and it. And we're loving every minute watching these videos. We are. Huh? And uh, before that, that was the the. Uh, the British band M with pop music. That's a fun one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, now it'll, I'll like be hearing it all week. It's You're one right. of those songs that you just can't get I, it out of your head. You know, that head. happens to me, too. I haven't heard these videos. And you know, Laura Davis was a guest on our show last, last week, week. And we played Corey Hart's song, and yep. I got an email from her. She's like, I can't get that song out. I know, that's what happens. <laughs> anyway, let's bring uh, our producer in right now. Catherine, if you'll come in and... Uh, Dig into the bowl here. We're, we're drawing for a $100 gift certificate. And mix them all around in there. Me. And let's let's uh, let's see who's going to win the uh, $100 gift certificate to Massage MV. I think we have one. Have one there? Great. There Thank you. Okay. And uh, it's from uh, Karen Vallis. Yes. They know. Yeah, they're from Fresno. And I'll be darned. They have a business at the American Tin Cannery named Captain, Captain Ben's. Ben's Place. So if you entered last week and this week, you were entered into the yes, drawing. Yes, yes. And you know what? You just came up with a great idea. Next week, we're going to put a phone number on the screen so that some people don't have access to a computer and email. So we're going to put a phone number on the screen next week's show. You can dial the number. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and give it to them anyway. So Right now? Right now. It's easy we to remember. We don't have it on the screen, though. But It's okay. It's easy to remember. 899-2727. That's the studio number. That's, That's our studio number. Station right, right. Here. So yeah. they can call. And okay. then if you, don't, if you don't have access to the Internet, you can still enter the drawing. Right, but leave your number so that we can get a hold of you <laughs> in you case win. you win. Or just go to our See, we've uh, got website. Karen's email address, so we know how to find her. Yeah, it makes it easy. Or we can go down to the American Tin Cannery and we'll go do. see Captain Ben. So that's Captain's, what we'll do. Let's see. The, Captain uh, Ben's. Captain Ben. There's a business. I wonder what Captain's, Captain Ben's is. We'll go check it out. Yeah, we'll have to go do that. Well, Karen, you're the winner. $100 gift certificate. I will write winner here of the $100 gift certificate to if you, uh, tuned Massage in NV. 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 Near Trader Joe's. If you happen to have just tuned in to our latter half of our show, we are here every Saturday night. We are. From 8 p.m. till midnight. Yes, we are. And we have usually about three or four guests that yep. come on. And it's just we're just breaking a little of the routine. The rest of the week we have the MGM Movie Network on. Yep. And then on Saturday nights we have Coastal TV Network on. And we're able to six. bring on our sponsors. Tonight, of course, uh, the first hour was me and Ed's. Thank you, Akram. 
Uh, second hour was, uh, help me, uh, Ola. Second, Ola from the Barnyard in yes. Carmel. Third hour was Alberto <laughs> in Pacific Grove. Alberto Alberto's Bonatelli. Bonatelli Ristorante. And, fourth, and then fourth hour was Jose's from um, the, uh, Jose's underground. underground down on Wave Street and also over in Seaside on Broadway and Del Monte. Yes. yes. So I remembered all that. Yes. I forgot. You did it. Hola. You did it. Did it. Okay, okay. so uh, we might as well. Let's see, we've got... And next uh, week, when we come back on uh, the show, next week we're going to talk a lot about the Pebble Beach food and wine event. Yes, and hopefully David uh, Bernal, Bernal is in town here. because yep. he said he'd like to come on. So we're going to have to see if he's, he's usually up in an airplane somewhere over the United States. But David hopefully is the fella, uh, along with the other gentleman who... Um, what is the other gentleman? Well, I name? invited the CEO of Pebble Beach Company. Oh, okay. So I'm going to... Put a call into him and see if he'll come on. But we'll we'll definitely have some more information. We'll have some some great guests again next week, as we normally do, and uh, we'll be playing more great music videos. And let's see, next week uh, I haven't picked out uh, the uh, the kickoff music video as I normally do, well, but uh, give it some that, time. it'll be a surprise. It'll be a good one. And um, and we want to thank Catherine Nagel in our studio tonight. We want to thank Alex, and our Alex. pitch hitter uh, engineer. For We're going to keep taking, him. Yes, I mean, we're not going to let him go to Napa. We're you can't go, him. Alex. We're going to keep you. <laughs> we're going to keep you. And anyway, well, let's play a couple of more music videos to go out tonight. And uh, why, don't, why don't we just go ahead and say goodnight now and then play the music out till midnight. Okay. Have a so, great week, folks. Good night, Jules. Good night, Gary. And good night, everyone. everyone.